Hey guys, welcome to another video on physics. Today we'll be learning about friction. So what is friction? Well, friction is the force in physics which you experience in everyday life, whether it be the brakes in your car, writing something down, or lighting up a match. And these frictional forces arise due to the interaction between two surfaces. Now some people may think that the force of friction is affected by the surface area. And while that may seem so conceptually, it is actually the normal force which affects the force of friction. And that is because the more normal force means that the bumps and grooves of the two surfaces are more interlocked and thus exerting a stronger force on each other. And here we have the two different types of friction, static and kinematic. Static friction is the friction that the object is experiencing when it is at rest or not moving even when something is pushing at it. And kinematic is when the static friction has reached a maximum point and thus is now moving. And these are the two equations in which the force of friction or the static and kinematic friction will use. Here we have the max static friction all force is equal to the mu times normal force. And for kinematic friction, we have the force of kinematic friction is equal to the mu times normal force. And this mu value is the coefficient of static or kinematic friction. Usually, static friction is, or the mu of static friction is greater than the mu of kinematic friction. And this is because the object, when being pushed or pulled on, needs to experience a high frictional force before moving. And thus, that mu times normal force is the maximum amount for static friction. Here we have a basic example on friction. So in this example, we have objects A and B, both with the same velocity and the same mass, and of course the same mu constant. But object B has a tension force of 20 newtons going up, and we could pretend that it is a rope. So to help you out, I have an equation for kinematic friction, and also if you really need it for normal force. To solve, we must first find the force friction on A or B, doesn't matter which, but we'll start with A for now. To get these, we plug it into the equation, and we see that the mu constant is 0 0.2 times 50, and if you're wondering where that 50 comes from, it is the 5 kilograms times the gravity, which we are assuming is 10 meters per second squared. Thus, 0 0.2 times 50 newtons equals 10 newtons. Now for the force of friction experienced on B. I have drawn the free body diagram if you need it, but since we know that the normal force plus the tensile force equals the force of gravity, we can plug in these values and solve for the normal force. So since the tensile force is 10 newtons and the force of gravity is 50 newtons, when we subtract we get the normal force of 40 newtons. That's when we plug it back into the force of kinetic friction, we get 0 0.3 times 40 newtons, which equals 12 newtons. I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.